The variables in the embedded systems that we debug and develop undergo changes that we oftentimes fail to see. Many tools give us access only to occasional snapshots of our variables, leaving us with an incomplete picture of our system's behavior. Micrium's MicroC Probe is different. With MicroC Probe, we can use graphs to easily see how almost any variable changes over time. To instantiate a graph in MicroC Probe, we first select graphs from the toolbox. Subsequently, the area at the top of the toolbox will be populated with icons representing the different graph formats MicroC Probe supports marker charts, line charts, and area charts. We can simply drag one of these icons onto a data screen to create a graph of the corresponding format. Like all components in MicroC Probe, the graphs are highly configurable. We can begin modifying our graph to suit our needs by first clicking on its Properties Editor button. The properties accessible through the ensuing dialog include the minimum and maximum Y values visible on the graph, the number of samples displayed at one time, and the scale factor applied to the graph's data. Another of the graph properties that appears in the Properties Editor dialog is Update Style. The options for this property are Strip, Scope, and Burst. Which of these should be used for a particular graph depends in part on the data with which the graph is associated. By a MicroC Probe symbol browser, a graph can be associated with either a single variable or an array. The first two update styles listed in the Properties Editor dialog, Strip and Scope, are intended to be used with graphs that represent a single variable. In strip mode, the value of the variable is shown in relation to an always increasing x value, and the graph scrolls so that only the most recently plotted data is visible. In scope mode, the variable is plotted over a fixed range of x values. Once MicroC Probe has drawn a graph from left to right over these values, it starts plotting again from the left. The alternative to the strip and scope modes burst mode is for use with graphs that represent arrays. MicroC Probe updates burst mode graphs by drawing many data points at once, taking the value for each point from an entry in the array. With burst mode, we can easily see how the contents of an entire array change over time. Once we've selected an update style for our graph, we can click the Series Properties button to make further customizations. The dialog that appears after this button has been clicked allows us to change colors and adjust other visual qualities of our graph. We can even use the Series Properties dialog to select whether our data should be depicted as a line, points, an area, or a combination of these options. In other words, this dialog allows us to override the graph type that we originally selected from the toolbox. If, for instance, we decide that a graph initially created as a line chart should be an area chart, we can use the Series Properties dialog to make the switch. After we've formatted our graph and used the Symbol Browser to select the variable or variables that we'd like to observe, all that we need to do in order to begin visualizing data is to connect to our target embedded system. We can indicate the communication interface for our connection through the Settings dialog and we can then prompt MicroC Probe to actually begin sending and receiving data by clicking the Run button in the upper left-hand corner of the main program window. Soon thereafter, our graph will begin to display values gathered from the target. Graphs are versatile components that provide us with a wide variety of options for visualizing an embedded system. MicroC Probe is not just a tool for drawing graphs, however. We can combine graphs with other MicroC Probe components to create rich, visually appealing user interfaces and substantially enhance our development efforts.